let's try this out. It's about time my Uber driver showed up. <laughs> All right, guys, we are canoe camping again. So I am out in a new place. This is the Allegheny Reservoir, which is essentially, it's a man-made lake that is shared between New York and Pennsylvania. It is just above where the Kinzua Dam meets the Allegheny River. Riley and I are going to do an overnight canoe camp. We're going to test out some new gear. I brought some new gear to try and we brought an amazing dinner. So I have a tri-tip steak and some homemade garlic butter to go with it. So. We're going to have a lot of fun on this trip. I hope you'll come with us and have a good time with us. Well, I think I found a campsite. So before I head there, I'm going to throw a couple pass and see if we can't catch anything because catching a fish with Riley in the boat would be pretty hysterical. It was hysterical, hi. It was hysterical without her. Well, I think we found our campsite winner straight ahead, right past Riley's dome. You can do it. Jump out. Good girl. <laughs> well, that was easy. Not. getting warm out here now. It was nice and cool earlier, probably 60 degrees. Got to be pushing 70 now. That's all right. It's not 85 or 90 like it's been. So hard to complain. Glad I love doing this. You coming or what? You can get down. Oh, you're on the leash. <laughs> Whoops. Check it out. Riley Cam. <laughs> I made a custom mount for it. It's so cool. Let's try this out. whole lake can hear you. People don't appreciate this, especially me. All right, it survived. Sweet.
You know how I know this is ash, right? Emerald ash borer. This destructive Japanese beetle has ruined all of the trees in my neighborhood and a majority of the Northeast. So let me show you guys some of the uh, new gear that I got. I got a jet boil from my sister-in-law, Kelsey. Thank you very much. I got a tri-tip steak, of course, for dinner. And the Biddy Big Q. So this was sent to me by Biddy Big Q. It is their packable, foldable grill. This is really cool. And I put it next to the nail jeans so you can see it's about the same size. Let's give the Biddy Big Q a proper review. You can use it skinny. You can extend it and get a bigger surface area if you're grilling a lot of food. And then the nice thing about it is it has different levels. So basically it works like a Swiss Army knife almost, right? So you can do it this tall, this tall, or extend it fully. So what I'm going to do, I'm cooking a tri-tip steak. So I'm going to start it on the highest level. I'm going to let it slow cook. And then I'm going to drop it to the lowest level and I'm going to sear it. So we'll uh, give this a proper test. See if it's something that I would suggest. It is cool though. Check that out. What I would normally do is I just use a flat grill and basically balance it on rocks or logs and it never ends up straight. Your food ends up rolling. So I have high hopes for this. I think it'll work really, really well. So I'm gonna let this fire burn down to coals and we'll try this grill out. That is a big steak. Hey, you gotta wait. <laughs> you gotta wait. We gotta season it up and then cook it. All right, this is a Weber cowboy rub. Definitely gonna put it on thick. This is a really thick, big piece of meat. No salt bay here. We're dumping it on. Should build a nice crust. Call that good. All right, so the idea with the steak is to cook it to 115 degrees and then reverse sear it until it's about medium rare, medium. I think it's going to be awesome. So we've hit 115, I'm gonna let this rest for a few minutes and lower down that grill so we can reverse sear it. Hot. Nailed it. Okay, final step. Hit it with my homemade garlic butter sauce. 
So there's garlic, butter, green onions, a little bit of parsley, uh, salt and pepper. Oh, baby. Okay, well I would consider that a success. A perfect cook using a new grill. This is one big steak that we'll share, I promise. Yeah, we're gonna let this rest for about 15 minutes, if I can wait that long. You're eating more of this steak than I am, for certain. One last thing with the uh, Bitty Big Q grill is it comes with this little scraper and it works shockingly well. You basically just scrape, but rotate as you do it. You can get these things super clean. Very nice. When they sent me this, I told them I'll take it as long as I can give it an honest review. I would give this two thumbs up. The only negative is the case. So maybe they can work on the stitching on this case. It ripped on me actually when I was pulling it out of the case, not putting it back in. But otherwise, the grill, the product itself, two thumbs up.